freestyling for Kanye West would be like my actual fucking nightmare. I think I could kill it. <laughs> um, I want to react to those fan theories about Mort from Rick and Morty, I think. Or not Rick and Morty, um, Madagascar. Is it okay if I don't know like a lot of Madagascar lore? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined once again by my roommate and cousin. Sorry. Brittany Broski. So we're going to play Would You Rather. I've been obsessed with Would You Rather's uh, recently on my Instagram story, and so I looked up apps that we could do it on. And we have done a Would You Rather before, I think. But then, Would You Rather kill five or six people? That yeah. Well, that was a reacting to um, it was a fuck Mary kill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Character. So this one is just called um, Would You Rather. <gasps> Sorry, one second. <laughs> <laughs> would you? <laughs> yes, I would. Hi guys, before we get started, I need to talk about today's sponsor, which is Cerebral. Cerebral is a mental health membership that provides clients with ongoing, comprehensive access and medication management for anxiety, depression, and insomnia for one flat monthly rate. Cerebral takes a comprehensive approach to healthcare, providing clients with both evidence-based therapeutic techniques and medication management, as the combination of the two has showed the greatest benefits. Finally, Cerebral operates in a telemedicine model, which means you can schedule appointments with your provider, therapist, or care counselor whenever is most convenient convenient for you. What I think is really cool about Cerebral is that they have instant live visits where you can see a prescribing provider or your care counselor in as little as 20 minutes. This is extremely convenient for me because I don't want to have to wait. I usually would like to talk to someone immediately. Like I said, this is a comprehensive care model, so it is a long-term treatment plan and 75% of users reported an improvement after their second visit. Cerebral is also incredibly affordable with or without insurance because they offer a flat monthly rate. I see a therapist every Thursday and you know that could have been like $200 every Thursday, $800 on top of health health insurance and sure they may bill my health insurance but I also have prescriptions which are not included in my insurance why am I even paying for insurance so if you're on a budget and you suffer from anxiety depression or insomnia and you really want someone to help you with that I would definitely recommend looking into cerebral so Sarah how do I get started with cerebral you start by going online and filling out a short form and answering a few questions so they can assess your symptoms from there you choose to subscribe to one of three membership options depending on your needs and your budget membership options are usually a combination of care counseling therapy and prescription medication medication, so it's up to you to choose which one is the right one for you. They include an initial video or phone visit with your provider, prescribed medications delivered monthly with free shipping, monthly virtual calls, and unlimited messaging with care counselors or therapists. If you'd like to take the next step working on your mental health, visit the link in my description to fill out a questionnaire and get connected with your provider right away. The first month starts at only $45. Thank you so much Cerebral for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. So this is the Impossible Choices pack, and we're going to discuss which we would rather do. I'm excited. Okay, so I don't think it's really that impossible of choices because they're not as weird, but would you rather be a victim of a serial killer or turn into a serial killer? I would 100% turn into a ser serial killer. If I was a victim, would I get my own Netflix docuseries? <laughs> Probably. Victim. You'd be like, what's the Black Dahlia? That shit is so intriguing. She always wanted fame and then she just like <sighs> got killed and now she's famous. I'm gonna say turn into a serial killer. You would kill me. <laughs> You're like, mm. Okay, would you rather run into your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend at the club, or run into your parents at the club? This is not impossible choices. I'm like both. Yeah. Because <laughs> I dated my parents. <laughs> I am what? <laughs> I'd rather run into my ex. Yeah. Would you rather have to lick people's face whenever they go to shake your hand, or scream, I didn't wash my hands to all your coworkers every time you come back from the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I did the second one anyway. Yeah. Really funny. I didn't wash my hands. <laughs> you working if I be like Jack in the Box? <laughs> Wash my hands. Can I take your order? That's hilarious. Honestly, that's less weird than someone taking someone's order and then licking like the customer's face. <laughs> Would you rather have one nipple or have two belly buttons? Where is the location of said nipple? Center of my chest? <laughs> but you still have two mouths. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this anatomically. Both the other often have two belly buttons. I would love if my belly button went all the way through. <laughs> belly hole? <laughs> belly hole. Showing. Have one nipple, I assume the nipple would be on a boob at some No, point. I think it would be dead center of your chest. <laughs> Why did you point to your crotch? I did my chest. Oh, I thought that this was, never mind. Okay, so you want one nipple. Your nipple's on your fupa. <laughs> Fuck. I would pick one nipple. <laughs> I would rather have two belly buttons. Where are the location of your belly buttons on your nipples? No, it's just straight through. So you're saying they would cook one here and one here <laughs> yes. on your back? <laughs> back button. <laughs> 
Would you rather be immune to hangovers forever or never have to go to the dentist ever again? I like going to the dentist. Well, I mean, you don't go to the dentist that often. Hangovers are a good excuse to be like, eh, I'm not doing anything today. Mm -hmm. So I do that most days. <laughs> I would rather be hungover a lot than never go to the dentist again. That's a hot take. A lot of people don't like the dentist. Wait, I'll be immune to hangovers forever or never have to go to Be immune to hangovers forever. Oh, that's a win-win. Yeah. So I'm not hungover and I get to go to the dentist. <laughs> Would you rather lose all your money in valuables or all of the pictures you have ever taken? <gasps> that is an impossible choice. I'd rather lose all my money in valuables. Really? Pictures are not gonna pay your bills. You can't like- Call that to OnlyFans. You pay a gas bill for the picture of you and your mom. <laughs> Get out. Shutting off your power. Get out. <laughs> you guys look so much alike. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Get the fuck out. Is she also homeless? <laughs> <laughs> Lose all the pictures I've ever taken. I get really... I'm eating a brownie, sorry. This has been on the stove for a week and a half. <laughs> I get really sentimentally attached to like, sentimental things. I know, but you're also losing your valuables. What are my valuables? <laughs> Life doesn't mean anything. I don't have any valuables. You don't have anything in your room that like you wouldn't want to lose? I got the Haley Styles vinyls. Yeah, I don't want to lose those. You lose all your posters. <laughs> I lose all my posters. No, I'd rather keep my pictures. All right. Would you rather be haunted by a ghost or yes. tortured by an alien? I'd rather be haunted by a ghost. Really? Yeah. Tortured by an alien. I thought you were like something stuck, <laughs> stuck up you or something. I don't know. That's not torture then. Oh no, don't probe me. Oh no. It's not a thin layer of Vaseline around my hole. <laughs> <laughs> I've been prepping for this my whole life. I would rather get haunted because I can't deal with pain. How's your pain tolerance? Uh, pretty low. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so I'd just be haunted by a ghost. And I think that they would get more annoyed with me, mm -hmm. you know, than- You're like, do you guys like me? Yeah, and eventually I just join them. <laughs> Like, it's like, I'm gonna be with you someday. Would you rather never use social media sites and apps again? Yes, duh. Or never watch another movie or TV show? Never use social media. Never use social media again. Like, what would you be your job if you weren't on social media? I'd be a plastic surgeon. I would be a top litigator in New York City. But instead of doing this, <laughs> eating brownies at 7.30 p.m. Astronaut was my fallback option. Yeah. <laughs> Would you 100. rather live to be 100 stuck in a child's body or live to be 50 as a normal aging human being? Okay, child, like like a under 10? Because if it's under- Yeah, divine child. If it's legal child, I'd be a teenager. And yeah, of course, 18 forever. Yeah, I want to be like 18 for 100 years. I plan on dying at 50 anyway. So this isn't really much of like a pick. How would you die at 50? I don't know, but in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that so many times. The swamp water just preserves you. <laughs> <laughs> in the bogs of Louisiana. <laughs> you're, you're on like a gator tour? Yeah. Is that Brittany? Oh my god, it's called Bunchy Girl. <laughs> she loved Louisiana. Would you rather visit a bar that only served tequila or visit yeah. a, a club that only plays black eyed peas? Both. Shut <laughs> I got a feeling. Ooh. That, that, but that's the only song on a loop. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a great night. I love tequila. I love the black eyed peas. Would you rather have horrible acne that is only on areas that are covered with clothing Ooh. or moderate acne that's only on your face? So your skin is completely clear, but under my farmer's tan is just cystic acne? Yes. <laughs> and your acne's in the shape of a shirt and shorts. <laughs> like thigh highs? No. Yeah. <laughs> Just like acne down. Oh my god, on your ankles and <laughs> shit. On my face, moderately on my face. Yeah, moderately on my face. Would you rather explain to a room of first graders how sex works in graphic detail or inform a room of first graders that your their favorite pets have died tragically? Pet one. <laughs> yeah, because there, there's something really creepy about explaining sex to kids that are not yours. I would have to learn how sex works in order to do the first one. Um, yeah, I'd rather tell them that their pets have died. You go down the line, you like give them their Valentine's Day card. Hit by a car, give it to the, put down at the vet, ate a chocolate Hershey kiss. Thomas, your lizard got hit by the car. <laughs> Here's a Valentine. People with pet lizards are kind of fun. You think? I think the girls are. The men are weird. Men, if you go to a Tinder date's house and he's got a pet lizard, what mm. are you thinking? He's gonna kill me. He's also got a closet full of human skin. 
Blizzard's like shed skin. <laughs> he like knits little like outfits out of them. He's like, we match. Oh! <laughs> I think it's like I'm equally creeped out by people who own birds. Bird people are a different breed. Mm -hmm. Because like those things are meant to fly and you just like, and they're also loud. Yeah. And you can't, really, yeah, you can't really play with them. Um, would you rather be the famous author of Twilight Ooh. or the famous writer of every Nickelback song? Nickelback. <laughs> You have like a fun like trivia night about yourself. It's like I actually wrote every song that Nickelback has ever sung. I ghost wrote every single hit by the pop band Nickelback. Pop I, would, rock. I would love to be the author. I would love to be Stephanie Myers. I would rather write Twilight. That's how you and I are different. Would you rather be abducted by aliens or possessed by a demon? This is like the second step to like- The first part? Yeah. Demons scare the shit out of me. Yeah, if I ever, like, but here's the thing. If you were possessed and I walked out, <laughs> I would like literally shit myself. No, literally, what if I was there levitating <laughs> like this with my eyes rolled back? <laughs> That's the most terrifying shit you can think of. I would hope like my abduction by aliens was when you got possessed, so I didn't have to it's be here for that. Yeah. yeah. We have conflicting skills. <laughs> Bella, can you guys pick me up <laughs> before? Okay, so abducted by aliens? Yeah. But I assume they just put you back. Possessed by a demon That's is- Do I get returned? <laughs> returned by aliens? Do I get dropped off? My mommy said that you guys can abduct me as long as you promise to drop me back off because she has work tonight. Would you rather go bald or be forever- <laughs> Be forever cursed to have terrible haircuts. Terrible haircuts are funny. Yeah. <laughs> you constantly have like- Blunt bang. That's <laughs> really funny. Like a bowl cut? Bowl cuts are sick. <laughs> I've never had a bowl cut for the rest of my life. You have bangs, but then you're bald on the back. <laughs> a, re a reverse fryer. <laughs> I only mean, have hair right here and it's shaved. My whole hairline is shaved. That would serve, bitch. <laughs> so would you rather poop out one ninja star or poop a, a 10,000 liters of mayonnaise? I like having diarrhea, so mayonnaise. I do, it makes me feel skinny. <laughs> At one time, how many is 10,000 liters? 10,000 liters at least. My freak. My freak. My freak. Are you ready? Couple days. Couple days of mayonnaise. Could we package the mayonnaise? We could make a good, pretty penny off yeah, it. Yeah, can we sell it? If it's clean, I'll put it in some packages and sell it. Have you seen those TikToks of them dropping like a molten hot ball in the mayonnaise? Yeah. And accept just sounds? <laughs> I, that has nothing to do with it. I just want you to put it in. While you're over the tub, I'm just putting hot balls in your mayonnaise shit. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> oh my god, my mouth's watering. <laughs> Disgusting! With pussy twinge. <laughs> I'd rather shit mayonnaise. I'd rather shit one ninja star. How bad could it be? A bloody ripped hole. The hole from your belly button down is just bloody, like, skin doing this. I mean, just one. You know, I'm just passing it. <laughs> Kidney stone. Would you rather get explosive diarrhea every time you meet your boss? Or get explosive diarrhea every time you meet your partner's parents? My boss. You don't have a boss. I used to. Yeah, I mean, every time you meet your boss, you just wear a diaper at every meeting. <laughs> What's that smell? Guilty as charged. Actually, yeah. no, partner's parents would be more forgiving. Like, sorry, I'm just really anxious. Yeah. Um, Every time. We've been married for 40 years. <laughs> and you go over to his dad's house and you just. Oh! <laughs> it's leaking! My anal seepage! You guys know the drill. <laughs> I'll be right back. They would be more understanding. You yeah. would eventually get fired at your job. <laughs> yes. Every time you talk to your boss. Literally. Oh! <laughs> Or like you have to start having conferences from the toilet. <laughs> Would you rather be handcuffed to your worst enemy for life or be separated from your entire family for life? Do people really have enemies? I don't know. Are y'all like <laughs> Thanos? Like who actually thinks they're my enemy? I see that shit on Instagram all the time of like, keep your friends close but your enemies closer. Who the fuck are y'all's enemies? <laughs> I mean, there are people that don't like me, but I mean, I don't think that they would consider me their enemy. It's <laughs> such a weird term. I would just be handcuffed to myself. No, that's it. Just like everywhere, like, sorry guys, I hate myself. Just shackled. <laughs> I'm already shackled to this mortal coil. I'm gonna say separated from my uh, entire family for life because we're not that close. I'll say shackled to myself. Would you rather be plain looking but always the funniest person in the room? Done. <laughs> Or be super hot, but always the most boring.
boring person in the room. Play oh, okay, no. but funny. Yes. Yeah. I'd rather have everybody cracking up than to be like, I am beautiful. <laughs> they just Ew. look at you. Literally. And also like that, like super hot people attract the most boring people as well. Yeah. Like sure they're hot, but like they just don't, they're boring. Yeah. I'd rather be plain and funny. And done. Check. All right, this has been fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to me, subscribe to Brittany, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. How about would you rather be funny and hot or plain and boring? Literally, what the fuck? <laughs> what about tall and anemic? <laughs> <laughs> or short and illiterate? <laughs> <laughs>